All right, some cool classics, people. Uh, there it is for 2014. This is the uh, right there, the 68 Olds 442. Now I did find the Purple Passion, the Hudson Hornet. Of course, this one that I'm fixing to open. But the 29 Ford pickup and 67 Camaro was not there. I still, to this date, have not found him. Uh, but according to the date of this video, but uh, this is this one. Let me go ahead and get it out. It's a containment area. Anyways, this one's in a Spectra Frost Gold with the slotted mags, of course. As with all the uh, cool classic so far uh, metal base metal bodies so very sweet looking cars anyways this one's pretty nice so I had to pick this one up and then this series let me see straight pipes was in green I did not buy it because I don't really care for the pipes going over the top of the car and uh, yeah I think that's the uh, only one I didn't buy out of this. So uh, the other four, the Honda CRX, Amphicar, 47 Fleetline, and 73 Ford Torino. I did buy. This is the 73 Ford Torino, which is a pretty nice little piece. And these things are nice and heavy. They are all metal die cast. So. This one's a pretty sweet looking paint job on it. Some cool looking flamage going on. Pretty cool looking color. Love the flames. It's a good looking car. So there's that one. I like it, that one. This one. You know, this one came out in the, I want to say, Boulevard series, right? I'm not even sure if I picked it up. I know I found it a few times, but I don't know if I ever picked it up. I didn't really care for it, but uh, this one's in red. It's okay, I guess. I mean, that, that probably should have went ahead and got the, uh, the Boulevard card when it came out. Like I said, I'd found it a few times, but really wasn't interested in it. But this one looked pretty cool, I guess. Is that paint coming off already? I believe it is. Check it out. Straight out of the package. I already got some paint chips in it. Hmm. Anyways, there's that ugly beast. Of course, that's my opinion. Everybody likes different things. You collect what you like, what you want, just like the old Mark on Race Crews tells us. And that's what I do nowadays. You know, I used to collect one of everything pretty much, and sometimes multiples of that. And now I just get whatever I like, so that's the way to do it. Uh, anyways, here's the 85 Honda. Uh, here's another one. There's two of them. I ended up finding three and bought all three. I gave my brother-in-law one. He's a uh, he's a Honda guy, so he likes them. So he's not he he's got some diecast cars, but he's not really a collector, but. Had to give him one of these. Anyways, I've heard that these were going to be pretty hard to find. I'm not sure. Uh, I found these three at one time. I bought them. And I've seen them one other time since then. But, I, you know, I left them. But it's a pretty good looking car. Again, again, all metal. And the last but not least is the 47 Chevy Fleetline in pink. Which is very cool. Anyways. That's another cool classic in pink. I don't even know if I did the video, but I've got the Copo Camaro in pink in this cool classic, which is sweet looking. Uh, anyways, here's this bad boy. I got some flames, kind of ghost flames on it. Actually, a pretty nice looking car. I'm not a real big fan of this casting, but I like to get all the pink ones. They don't make a whole lot of pink cars, so whenever they do, I like to grab them. Anyways, that's the cool classics, guys. Uh, so that's the newest ones I have. So I'm about 200 cars off.
from being caught up on video so I think what I'm gonna do since I'm so far behind I'm gonna have to do my newest finds you know I was gonna do you know the ones that I've you know have been getting you know in the past and then just kind of working my way up to the newer stuff but I think I might have to start with the newer stuff so those videos aren't really all that old when they do get posted but anyways this is going to be the next video so stay tuned for that one and thanks for watching and have a blessed day bye